First thing we did is we applied our capillary brake material across the entire width of the footing. Came back with our vapor block, centered that on the wall. This, this, this strip is cut at about two foot wide. What we'll end up doing is the wall will get cast directly on top of this material. Before we cast our slab, this vapor barrier will get tied in. We'll get tied into this perimeter that we've just installed, taped and sealed. That's our vapor barrier for our slab in our basement. Okay, here's an example of our footing and stem wall detail. Uh, in our first video, we were laying the foam down for our footings. Um, since then, obviously, we've cast the footings, cast the walls. Once we install our uh, foam in the slab, this will get pulled right up over top of the foam. It goes the whole way across the top of the foam. These are the layers of our, our basement footing. This is our 3 quarter minus compacted. This is our 8 inch EPS foam. This wraps down the footing and is underneath the footing and up the back side. This is our footing. This is our uh, waterproofing material that was applied after we poured the footings. Go, it extends the whole way across the top of the footing and that is our capillary break. This is our 15 mil poly. This extends to the midpoint of this stem wall, right where our, our rebar uprights are. We installed this, it sits halfway on there, it was nailed down, and then we cast the stem wall right down on top of it. I left a two foot flap. Once we install our footing, our, our foam under the slab, we'll bring this up and over and then tape all the seams and that creates our, our vapor block.